Hello, in this video I will go over how to set up Puffer Panel, which is a tool with a web UI to easily host and manage game servers running on Linux. To start, you can find the download and installation instructions by opening a web browser and searching for Puffer Panel or entering pufferpanel.com in the search field. Click the download button and here you will see a list of guides for different ways of installing and running Puffer Panel. Clicking the Installing Puffer Panel link brings you to a guide for installing Puffer Panel on Debian distros, which is great if you are using something like Ubuntu Server. Take note of the port 8080. It will be used when connecting to Puffer Panel in the web browser. Copy the curl line and bring it to your server. Whether you have it installed on a physical machine or a virtual one, connect to it using your desired tool. Running the update command can be useful before starting any installation. If you want to make sure the install file is removed next reboot, you can change directory to tmp. Right-click the terminal window to paste the curl command and press enter to run it. This also runs a command to add puffer panel to the repositories and running a command to update it. You can now copy and paste or type the next command sudo apt install puffer panel. Create the user you will be logging in with by running the command sudo puffer panel user add. Enter your information and a heads up the mail and password is the ones you need to remember. Now Enter the command to start the Puffer Panel service on your server. When that is done, you can open your preferred web browser. Enter the IP address of your server, followed by colon 8080. Enter the mail and password for the user you just created to log in to the web UI. If you're not a fan of using a terminal, you can do almost everything from this web UI from editing users, running multiple Puffer Panel servers, to, of course, managing your game servers. Clicking templates for the first time gives you a notification about not having any templates. Click the green button and in the new window, expand the drop-down menu to see the game servers that have templates ready. There are plenty of game server templates you can pick from. You can also type to search for specific servers. For now, I will set up a Minecraft server to show how it works. Click the name of the server you wish to run. Close the drop-down menu by clicking outside, followed by the green Import Templates button. Navigate to Servers and click the plus button lower left in the window. Select the template you wish to use, then click Use this template. Give your server a name and click Next. If you have multiple users you wish to be admin for this server, you can add them here. Next, there are some basic settings for the server. This will of course be different for different game servers. Click Create on the bottom of the site, followed by Install in the upper right corner of your browser. If there are more changes you wish to do before starting up the server for the first time, you can do that now in the Files tab. If you make any changes in the Settings tab now, you will have to install the server again to update the server settings. The server files will stay untouched except for the settings, so you will not lose your world, for example. You can add more users to the server if needed. In the Admin tab, there are some settings that can be important to enable, like starting the game server when the server starts, and restart the game server if it crashes. In the console window, you will be able to see when players connect, send messages, and disconnect. The logs will also be saved if you need them at a later time. I hope this video was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.